Hello again, everybody. This is Peter Dowling with Dowling Solutions. Today, I'd like to talk about using APIs to connect to data sources, particularly for the purpose of pulling data into reports. Uh, the system I'm discussing today is Bullhorn. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Bullhorn, it's an applicant tracking system that's widely used by staffing and recruitment agencies. Bullhorn is a very powerful system that gives you tons of opportunities to customize their solution to fit the needs of your business. There are many built-in reports that you could use straight out of the box. However, for many scenarios, their built-in reporting functions fail to allow you to easily grab the data you need. In many cases, you have to pull multiple reports or pull the same report multiple times to get the data you need. Luckily, Bullhorn has a very functional API that can be used to automate reporting tasks and supercharge the insights you can get out of that data from their system. Um, one thing I should mention is um, they do have two types of APIs. Uh, one is the REST API, which we'll be discussing today. Uh, the other one is the SOAP API. Um, I haven't used the SOAP before with Bullhorn. However, um, today we'll just be discussing the REST API. So here I am inside of Bullhorn, and I'm just going to give you a simple example today of one of their built-in reports, just so you can see what I mean comparing uh, the built-in reporting functions compared to using their API. Um, right now, I'm just going to go into this job activity report here. I'm in the reporting section, so I'm just going to run that report. And as you can see, uh, we have some options here. So I just want to do a report. I want to see all the job activity over the last, well, since, say, the beginning of 2012. Let's say that. So I'm just going to say the job owner is going to be everybody uh, in the in the company. And let's just say we want to do from January 1st, 2012 to this date. And looks good. So I'm just going to get the report and wait for a second. So as you can see here, it pulled 1,000 records. Now I know for a fact that there is more than 1,000 records uh, for job activity from uh, the beginning of 2012 to the uh, uh, to 2016. So just from this, you would have to pull multiple reports. So obviously that's being, it's being limited to only a thousand records uh, in this case. So you would have to pull multiple, multiple reports. Maybe you would just go through uh, to be safe. Maybe you would have to do once per year. So do every single year uh, since 2012. Uh, maybe you're extremely, uh, an extremely busy company and you'd have to pull it on a monthly basis to make sure that you uh, don't miss any records. So that's one of the uh, disadvantages of using uh, this built-in reporting function inside of Bullhorn itself. Um, so now let's let's just take this and do the same report, except pull absolutely everything that's in the database using their API. OK, so let's just go over the steps required to actually set up Bullhorn's uh, API uh, to begin with. Um, the first step uh, is pretty simple. You just contact uh, the Bullhorn support and request to use their API. Uh, they may come back with, a, with another email um, or ticket uh, requesting more information. Uh, for example, they'll ask for, OK, what will the redirect URI be? And uh, here's some terms of service for you to review and, um, and, uh, and uh, send back to them or to acknowledge. Um, however, if you're just using the API for reporting purposes, all you need is an API login, a client ID, and a client secret. You don't need the redirect URI or the terms of service uh, in order to use it. Um, if you were using the API to set up a, like a, a custom uh, portal or some kind of custom interface uh, that would you know, read and write from a database, that type of thing, um, then yes, you would probably need the uh, redirect URI and fill out the terms of service and things like that. Um, but in this case, we're just reporting on the data that's, that's sitting on their database. Uh, so in this case, all you need is uh, the API login and client ID and client secret. Once you have that, uh, you use the client ID and client secret to generate an access token and refresh token. Uh, from there, you use the access token to generate a Bullhorn REST token and REST URL. Uh, from there, you use the Bullhorn REST token and REST URL along with the database documentation, um, which there is a lot of that, uh, to pull the reports and information you need directly out of the database. Obviously, you have to know what kind of tables there are and what kind of fields there are and what the data types are inside of the database in order for you to really uh, efficiently report on the data that's in there. Um, but once you kind of get a, a feel for 
how the database is set up, um, then uh, you can definitely do that. Um, also interesting to note is uh, you can actually store the refresh token in a separate file um, that could be updated. Um, the refresh token never expires. So once you have a refresh token, basically the steps in order to generate the, port, the report are reduced. You could basically just go straight to step four uh, in order to, uh, to generate the report that you want. Um, so let's uh, see an example of that. Okay, so let's do uh, the same report using this time the Bullhorn REST API. Um, as you can see, I'm using an R editor. Um, R is basically a programming language that works really well with data. It's also It also comes in handy because you can pretty easily uh, create CSV files and overwrite CSV files and things like that to store data such as the, the, um, the refresh token, which um, uh, comes in handy if you want to automate these reports, if it's a report that you have to pull on a daily basis or weekly basis, whatever it might be. So um, basically this is the code, uh, some of the code that I used anyways to uh, uh, to grab the data uh, for job orders, uh, same as the other report, essentially. Um, however, this code has a little uh, trick inside of it where I do basically a loop um, to make sure that I have all the data. Um, the API for Bullhorn actually limits uh, each one of your uh, database requests to 500 uh, records. So obviously, like we were looking at before, there was more than 1,000 records. So if we were just to pull this report uh, one time through the API, we'd only get 500 records. So that's definitely not what we want. Um, what I did here is I just set up a little loop. Uh, so it runs the report once, grabs all that data, and then runs the report again, starting from uh, the end of the last report. And if there actually is data in that new data set, then it would just add it to the uh, old data set. And then it would do it again and again and again until it pulls a, a data set that has basically a zero value inside of it. And then at that point, you know that you have all the data that you need. Um, so you can see that here in, uh, in a little while loop that, uh, that I created here. But at the end of the day, um, we're going to be pulling uh, data uh, on job orders, and we're going to be writing it to an orders uh, data file called orders.csv. And it'll show up here in uh, my little orders uh, window here that, uh, that I created. And as you can see, there's a refresh token in here, which I update every time, every time I pull a new report. Essentially, the API produces a new refresh token. So all you have to do is uh, just basically replace the old refresh token with the new refresh token, and then you can go ahead and do another report and another report and not have to worry, really worry about um, refresh tokens or anything like that. So I have all this highlighted, so now I'm just going to run that. And here you go, presto, we have a new orders.csv file. And I'll show that to you just in a second. Okay, and here is the CSV file that was created. I just had to go in there before I could show this to you because there is uh, um, client information and uh, other information that I don't really want to be sharing on the internet or anything like that. So I kind of grayed out those columns. Uh, but as you can see, uh, with this report that I ran that only took about two seconds to do, we have all 1300 records in this case. So I know that I'm pulling all the information that's in the in the system without having to pull the same report multiple times or worry about uh, if I actually did grab the data, all the data that I needed. Um, the API is extremely powerful if you're pulling any kind of information that requires uh, information from multiple tables or multiple reports. Um, obviously, if you're pulling information from, uh, from Bullhorn and you're also wanting to mash that up with uh, information from your accounting software or your HR management system, whatever the case might be, uh, it's very powerful. Um, and uh, you're also able to automate those reports and just make life for yourself much easier. Um, so yeah, this is my little quick uh, overview of the Bullhorn API. Hope you've enjoyed.